everybody. We're near Clearwater, Minnesota. We picked these bad boys up in Bristol, Indiana and we're on our way back. Yesterday we drove exactly 1,027 kilometers. That's about 650 miles, give or take a mile or two in there. Today we have another 660 miles to go. Pardon me, kilometers, 660 kilometers to go, which is about uh, six times six, 30, 360 miles, something like that. So about a half day. Hoping to get these trailers unloaded. I just gotta bring them to our yard in Manitoba, up in Canada. Hopefully get them off the trailer. And then we'll figure out what we're doing tomorrow. Well, today's Thursday, so happy Thursday. I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the week. I only got Friday left after this, so eh, my options are limited. I might be able to go pick something up and then deliver it on Monday. But uh, uh, we'll see what they have. Maybe they got something waiting in the yard that can leave uh, this weekend and deliver somewhere Monday. Who knows? We'll see what the load gods have for us. Get out on the highway, let's get going. Let's burn some diesel fuel. I've been thinking about removing this passenger seat and putting it on this side, because this seat's still in better shape than this seat. And then just leaving this area clear. I did that once before, remember years ago in like 2014, when I had uh, that Freightliner, I think it was a 2004, 2005 Freightliner Century first truck I ever bought, right? It's in the vlogs. Uh, you can go back in my playlists and see them. Uh, but I think I'm taking this seat out since I never have passengers in here and then building in like a little platform in here because I just use this seat as a chair, right? For like my record keeping books, my hat, my sunglasses and other glasses and everything. Other things like this. Oh, I need to wash it a little bit. But uh, yeah, then on the ground there is like my garbage and my uh, cooking, cooking stuff. Like I've got my uh, little portable oven and my uh, water kettle there. I was thinking of just like building in like a nice little platform here or even like moving my cooler from the back which is taking up all the space back there putting it here. Turn right and then turn right in 80 meters. I'm not even moving yet Karen she's already yelling at me. Well she's got a point we got to get going. I'm buckle myself in so I don't fall out. Pre-trip's done, truck's all ready to go, lights are on. We are ready to rock. One more thing before I get rolling, you know what, I do it every day, I just double check. I checked to make sure that my fifth wheel was connected when I was out there doing the pre-trip, but now I roll forward, spike my trailer brake, Trailer brakes work, and roll forward again, and they release, and my trailer didn't fall off. It's my uh, morning routine. I can't get rolling before I do that. Let's get out there. The sun is coming up. That means we gotta get up. It's gonna be a good day. I might be going home tonight. I just, I don't know if they'll have anything for me to fill up the rest of this week. I did make myself available and uh, tell them that I want to keep working, but uh, you know, there's only so much they can do. It's fr uh, Friday tomorrow and we can't really pick up and deliver at most places Saturday and Sunday. So I'm gonna give them a chance to get into work, get their brains warmed up, get their computers warmed up. And then I'm gonna give them a call and uh, do a little subtle begging. Oh, there's a cop here on the ramp. Everybody act normal. Everybody act normal. No sudden movements. I love our law enforcement. Thank you for doing what you do. Have a good day, sir. Just stay, stay, stay. Good. I don't got time for any inspections. I just inspected my truck, it's good. 
Trust me, bro. All right, let's go. reset my odometer there we go my tripometer sorry I reset that every day just so that I know approximately how far I drove all right we're off to see the wizard
this road for 247 kilometers. We have a wind coming out of the south today, pushing me north, which is fantastic. Just gonna set out my sails and sail home. so nosy they always got to know what I'm doing every second of every day even on my days off they're like what were you doing truck charge what were you were you off duty all day all day are you sure better put it in your hook book gotta know what you were doing All right, so I want to top up the tanks here in Grand Forks because uh, fuel's cheaper here. And I don't know which direction I'm going. I got no plan yet after I get these trailers to our yard. Looks like I'll get unloaded today as long as they're not too busy. If not, I'll just leave my trailer there. They'll do it in the morning. But I'll probably be going home tonight. And I'm hoping that there's something I can do tomorrow to fill up the week a little bit, make a little bit more money before the weekend. I made myself available over the weekend to work if they have something. I haven't heard yet, so I'm gonna fill up here so that I'm ready for whatever they throw at me. Heat to the left at 1.4 kilometers. new marching orders we're leaving on Saturday so I get to go home for tonight and all of tomorrow and I'll leave Saturday by noon ish noon around there we're headed over to Quebec next week got to drop off a load in Quebec and then we pick up a load there and come back with it so that'll be all next week should be a lot of fun let me show you what we're gonna be doing the loads are already here waiting for me so this trailer that I had is being left here it's actually got to go get a safety done by the end of the month. So they're probably going to get that done right away. And uh, it's really windy out right now. But that's, that's my load. Trailer 527. I was going to tie it down now, but it's way too windy. I'll do it on Saturday before I leave. It's supposed to have wind gusts today. It's not like windy, windy, like to the point where things are going to fall over. That's not how windy it is. But it's windy enough that it'd be very hard to get the straps over the load. I'll be fighting with the wind this whole time. I'm getting all mad and swearing at myself. Don't want to do that. So I'm going to go home. I'll worry about this on Saturday. So I have to be in Laval, Quebec, which is like Montreal, Tuesday morning, 7.30 a.m. Eastern time, sharp. So I got to be there. That means like I got to be there at 7 to 7.15, which means I got to be in the area parked 
Monday night. Let's see how far is this trip, how far is this gonna be? Let's see, let's ask the Google. Google, from my location right here to Laval. Laval. Lebanon, Laval. It's thinking. Come on, Google. Come on, Google, okay. So it looks like it's gonna be 2,230 kilometers or so, but 2,300 kilometers. Yeah, because we're gonna wanna avoid going through Montreal. So we'll go through Ottawa. Same route we did last time we were out there. I'm gonna go straight back that same route. So 2,300 kilometers, 330. So that is divided by 1.61, 1,447 miles. Two full, full days. Remember, we got back in two days last time we were out in the air. And that was a little bit further yet because we were way down there in uh, Valcourt, on the other side of Montreal. So if I hurry and Saturday, oh man, there's Saturday. Well, if I leave Saturday, then I've got time, right? Because then I've got Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to get there. So we won't have to run that hard. So like Saturday, I guess I could just go up to Thunder Bay even, or Nipigon. And then after that, Nipigon, we can go around, get to the Ottawa area. And then we've got just a little bit of a hop, skip, and a hump to Montreal. Now, I could leave Sunday morning and get there. That's cutting it way too close. I was told my appointment time for Tuesday morning is firm. I have to be there. There's going to be a crane waiting to unload me. You don't want to keep cranes waiting because they charge you by the hour and it's ridiculous amounts of money uh, if, if you're late. You don't want to do that. So we'll be there Monday night. We'll leave Saturday <laughs> during the day, we'll say. I can even leave the afternoon. I can leave at supper. No, it's kind of too close. Kind of too close. We'll leave between lunch and supper. Closer to lunch, probably. Like, I'll probably try to leave the house by about noon, one o'clock. That's about right, right when my son goes down for a nap. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll wait till I'll put him. I'll help put him down for a nap, and then I'll go. I hate doing that because then he sees me there when he goes down for a nap, and he wakes up and he's like, "Dad, dad, 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 where'd you?" And then Britt calls me and uh, tells me that he's looking for me, and then my heart breaks a little bit. But you know, one day he'll understand that daddy's at work and that he's making everything possible that he has in his life. And uh, one day he'll understand. Anyway, so I'm gonna go home now and uh, we will leave, uh, well, we'll put work out of our minds for uh, a couple of days here. Enjoy our time. 